communists came to power without any world experience at all, certainly no experience in government. So the only codes and ciphers they knew about were a rather primitive thing, which was to have a, um, a code in the form of using a, a text, some literary text or other, and so you'd, um, the, re the receiver of the information would have to look up page something or other and read the first word from every other paragraph. Some complicated thing like that, which was a sort of personalized code and cipher system. And of course, so they weren't prepared when they went into government that they'd have to um, encipher mass communications of government in all directions. They just weren't prepared. So they just thought, oh, well, what did our predecessors do? Well, let's copy that. Well, the trouble was the leading code and cipher people, the predecessors, the Tsar, were living in Paris, Stockholm, Berlin <laughs> and London, busy helping these powers read Soviet codes and ciphers. I mean, the, the most dramatic thing was the failure of the Red Army to advance into Western Europe in the summer of 1920. They were fighting Poland, moving west, heading for Berlin. And the main reason why they failed was not because of bad communications between Stalin and Tukhachevsky or the incompetence of the Bolshevik army commanders. It was because the Poles were reading their communications in code. The Poles read over 200 messages during that period. So they knew exactly where the Red Army was going, how it was equipped, what the problems were. And so that war, the Polish-Soviet war, was a victory of knowledge of cryptography over ignorance of cryptography. But the Russians didn't learn the lesson.